Uh, so what's new and exciting in the Emerson Lab? Um, so I work both in terrestrial and marine systems. This past summer, I had the opportunity to go up to the Arctic, to the north slope of the Brooks Range. Um, I had a hunch that there might be iron bacteria there. I had absolutely no idea that this would be the most abundant and prolific site that I've ever seen for studying iron oxidizing bacteria. Uh, you can't see these pictures too well, but the middle image there is a, is a typical tundra scene of cotton grass tundra. Um, wet, waterlogged, you look down at your feet and it's just covered with iron oxides. You look at that in the microscope and you see classic iron bacteria. Uh, so we're really interested in seeing what's going on in these systems. And then uh, we have a field trip coming up to the uh, Mariana Forark uh, in from basically from Thanksgiving to Christmas, a research cruise. We'll be going out of Guam, going about a thousand uh, kilometer transect to the north. You can see on the right side there, all those red dots are seamounts. We'll be stopping at a number of those seamounts and looking at the iron cycle and iron oxidizing bacteria, especially uh, at these seamount systems. And this is all related to different research questions. Um, so I just put up some of the things we're really excited about studying right now. Uh, so first thing is, can we discover the mechanisms of biological iron oxidation? I would contend that this is probably one of the major uh, microbial biogeochemical cycles that we know the least about in terms of how organisms are actually able to get their energy from oxidizing iron, making a living doing that. Um, using comparative genomics and some proteomics, we're starting to find some pretty good clues, I think, about how this works. Uh, how many of you heard of the human microbiome? Pretty much everybody now. So we're studying the iron microbiome, which is basically the community of organisms that are involved in this process. And it is, very, it is a unique community. And so we're interested in sort of understanding that microbiome and how these organisms interact and work together. And then a new project that I've uh, been collaborating some with Ben on is, is we have an undergraduate from Colby working on right now is to, to start to begin to understand the extent to which biogenic iron uh, could be a major source of nutritional iron into the ocean. Many of you may know that the open ocean is limited for iron, um, and even in the coastal ocean, you need to have an iron source. Uh, some of that iron in the open ocean is coming from dust, but how much of it is actually forming, say, in the Arctic there, in those tundras, and then getting washed into the ocean, um, that biologically formed iron oxides and being a source of iron there? We really don't know. And then we're also uh, starting to get more and more interested in applying what we've learned in the basic biology of these organisms to practical problems, and I've just put a list up there. The only one we've really studied in much detail is biocorrosion, but we're interested in following up on that. Thank you. <laughs>